Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it feels so good to be back recording. Um, I have got my little, I thought it was broken when it arrived because I was like, what is that noise? Um, I did open it and then realised, um, do you know what? I haven't even said what the box is. This is, oh you can probably have seen. This is my look and fat, oh my giddy aunt. This is my look fantastic subscription box. This month's box arrived and it's got its own little case. I thought that was open then but it's not, it's the clear bit on the bottom. So, normally it comes in its own box with like a little leaflet. Like Joe leaflet that shows you what is in it but Hold on, there is a little leaflet here. Uh, so it says, with everything that's going on at the moment, we've decided to make beauty box edits all di in digital from now on. Don't worry, you'll be, can still be printed versions. We'll be back as soon as possible. All right, so they're not, Joe, that little book that I read from last time is not there. So I'm just going to pull up. Um, you know I don't need to know how much they cost. I still enjoy my little product for um, the £11 something it costs me a month. I will tag all the information down below. I just quickly wanted to jump in and say that I've got like a referral code where you get like £5 off your first box. So I will leave that down below in the box for you. Um, it is, um, I do always write where they are an affiliate link that they are an affiliate link down there in the description box but I do just want to quickly what mention what affiliate links are and they basically mean let me see I look really the background looks super dark but the weather is absolutely atrocious an affiliate link is like a commission based link it costs you nothing more but I earn a, like, and it is a tiny percent, like sometimes it's like one, two percent, sometimes it's five, and five is pretty, pretty good. Um, so they all vary kind of thing, but yeah, it doesn't cost you any more buying through those links. But I, this box isn't for you guys to buy and me to get commission. I just thought with everything crap going on, when I for this first or last box, um, advertise. I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself and get one of these little boxes every month to put a smile on my face. So first off, obviously, we've got this little box and I actually love the size of this. I think it's a perfect one for a make good fit and makeup palette in there and basic makeup items as well. So let's just start grabbing things out of here. Ooh, this, it's like um, a little, what are they called? Tangle teaser. It's, it's, my Tangle Tees is absolutely knackered and this just feels, ooh, I like this. Oh, I can put my Tangle Tees in the bin now. I do love the colour of this as well, it's a lovely mint colour, it's got glow written on it. No, it's not got glow, it's a V on the end. Glove? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I am. What's, what have I picked up next? Every mask. The Colour Lock-In Multitask Deep Conditioning Treatment for Every Colour Hair. Ooh, we need one of those after doing my hair. Apply to damp hair, wash, to damp washed hair, leave for five minutes, then rinse. Ooh, Josh Wood Colour it's called. I love a good hair product, I really, really do, and my hair kind of needs it. It's being bleached loads at the moment, um, and so I can't wait to try that one. Oh, this is the little product that was on the back of that book that said there was going to be in this one. So this is Molten Brown's Cypress and Sea Fennel Bath and Shower Gel. Ooh, I like that. It's It does smell more like bubble bath to me than what I prefer in a shower gel. I like really sweet scents. Um, well, I might use it as bubble bath. Sometimes I do that too. <laughs> what have we got here? So, this one is a face mask, a calming mask. 
It's got flower, everlasting flower water, chamomile oil and neroli oil in it. Obviously this is, where has it gone? Most of it is written firstly in a different language, obviously it's, um, but I'm obviously not sure what that language is and I'm not going to guess because of, there's no point because I'll probably get it wrong. But it's a calming face mask. My skin is absolutely atrocious at the moment. I really don't know what it is. I've not been putting makeup on so it's not like my makeup, um, I've got... I always only get a bit of a one or two out of push hormonal spots, but recently I've had lots down my cheeks, my, I've had them two underneath my chin, like little horns coming out the bottom, but they're all over here. I've got so much, like, my mum was like, have you got a rash on your face? That that's what they're like, they're like loads of little bumps. Now I don't know if they are a rash, it kind of made me question it, but I just thought, my skin's having a hissy fit for some reason, so that would be really nice actually. I can't wait to try that. Uh, what have we got here? We've got sun lotion. So this is 50 plus. I was just wondering whether it said it was a face one or not, but it doesn't. It just seems to be a 50 plus suntan lotion. Um, and especially like for Alfie and stuff on days out, so this will probably go in my backpack. Because the weather is meant to pick up again, because at the moment it's dull, it's boring, it's raining, and I'm fed up of it. Bring back my sunshine. That really does help with my mood. It's crazy. Um, talking of sunshine. I keep getting emails off the holiday company. They're trying to get my flight money back still. Um, now we was meant to fly out for Easter. Just, the Easter holidays, so in March, and I'm still trying to get my flight money back. It's absolutely ridiculous. The next product is again a sun one. Um, can tell this uh, box was kind of inspired, and obviously kind of coming into the right season as well for it, with all the lovely weather we are. But this I will use because of my lips. I don't know if anybody else is when out in the sun, dry and hurt so much. So this is. A lip protection and care so it's got argan oil and shea butter in it but it's a factor 30 the only thing I hope is it doesn't leave like I'm gonna open it up it doesn't leave like a white residue show those ski are they the ski ones I'm sure it's mainly the ski ones you see where people are and they've got like white lips where they've had to, where they've put the um, lip balms on no this one's a like a cleary color I've just got lipstick all over it, but no, definitely doesn't leave a colour. So that again is going to go in my bag, and that is the last product. So I'm just going to quick. Oh well, you've got this as well. Um, you've got your little beauty bag. I really do think. So I've just quickly run and put some makeup in here because to kind of give you how big it is because it doesn't look it. So at the bottom here I've got a full size palette that runs right along the bottom. I've got foundation, mascara, concealer, primer, blusher, eye products, uh, eyebrows, lipstick and there's still room in there. Do you know what I mean? You can definitely fit brushes like eyeshadow brushes and stuff as well in there. So that is well well cool. Although, not bloody travelling anywhere for ages yeah, am I? Stupid blinking Covid. <laughs> 